What's going on everybody? I hope you're having an alright day in the market. We just got Palantir's earnings. I'm going to go into that really quickly and stick around because later on in the day, I'm going to upload a cleaned up edited version of their earnings call. It's going to have all the information of the original earnings call, but it's going to be cleaned up and trimmed down to a more palatable experience. But in this video, let's look over their earnings. We're also going to look over the chart and there's an important support level that we're about to potentially break. You need to watch it. And if you like these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It definitely helps me out. Don't forget to check out the links below for some free stocks and crypto check out the free discord and let's look at palantir earnings and every article i go over here there will be a link down below for you so you can access it yourself so one good thing to see is while they did miss their eps of two cents positive eps they did get one cent positive so we did have a flip back to positive eps so you'll see that they did beat revenue they had 478 million while analysts were only expecting 474.7 million but they were expecting that positive two cents eps I think that's partly why this dropped so much. Another negative people can see here is that the current currency exchange rates causes Palantir to lower their revenue essentially by about $5 million, but they did give a good forecast for their next quarter. At least they expect it to be in the midpoint of their previous guidance. So they're not revising to the downside. They're just giving it an affirmed forecast right at around $504 million for the next quarter. And like I said, if you guys are interested in the cleaned up earnings call, I'll try to leave it down below in the link once I have it edited and finished, but I will get it down in the description soon. And looking at their trailing 12 month highlights, you'll see that they have a trailing 12 month or TTM revenue of about 1.11 billion. We have government revenue of 1.02 billion on a trailing 12 month basis, which is a 20% growth year over year. And it also surpassed 1 billion for the first time in the company's history. They had an adjusted income of 81 million which is a margin of 17%. We have US commercial customer count, which increased 124% year over year from 59 customers in Q3 of 2021 to 132 in Q3 of 2022. And in terms of revenue growth, we had US government revenue growth of 23% year over year, US commercial revenue growth of 53% year over year, and overall US revenue growing 31% year over year to 297 million. And you'll see that their reported revenue of 478 million is a beat compared to any other previous quarter. So that's definitely a good sign to see that continued revenue growth. Although to compare their typical revenue growth, this wasn't really a huge uh, increase compared to their last quarter of 473 million. I mean, especially when you look at the quarter previously when they had 446, ran up all the way to 473. Now we're talking 478. It's not a huge increase, but it's still nice to see it increasing. And of course, it's nice to see a flip to that one cent positive EPS rather than the one cent negative that we saw last quarter. And I wanted to mention this support level, but as I'm recording this video, we already failed the support level and it's breaking even further down. We might find $7 as a support before we bounce. It is likely already pretty heavily oversold. We might see a little bounce maybe catch resistance here at this 720 area this previous support i think the main reason wall street is selling this off is because they did miss their eps although they slightly beat their revenue so any bit of negative news wall street's just going to dump a stock and what i would honestly do if i was looking for an entry point on palantir i would watch to see where this levels out get some sideways action first before entering just because it's pretty oversold doesn't mean we can have a sideways day or two and then pull back more. So just tread cautiously. And one thing you'll notice is Palantir has not broke its May 11 low yet. But you are going to want to watch for this 643 area, this 640 to 650 area. If we do break this, Palantir will be creating new lower lows. So it's going to be important to watch this roughly 650 area and see how Palantir behaves around there. I wouldn't be surprised here to see a little bounce at 7 though. And then a potential retest of seven, a possible failure again of seven. However, at its current price, I think it's more than worthy of a DCA if you're a long-term investor, if you have high conviction in Palantir. And one important day we have coming up here is the CPI. So if that comes in very bad, it's likely that a lot of stocks are going to just sell off even more. But if it comes in and surprises, and, and by surprises, I mean surprises very well, a very big drop in inflation. I think that will cause a nice rally in the market, but I think it's kind of unlikely that we're going to see a big drop in inflation. We might see CPI come in under what it is expected, which would be a positive sign. But in reality, we still have very high inflation and the Fed's target of 2% is nowhere near. But I hope you enjoyed this quick video, guys. Make sure you stick around if you want to listen to Palantir's earnings call. I will leave it down below for you when I get it uploaded and ready. Thanks as always, guys, and take it easy.